Arkansas Supreme Court Justice Robert Brown has penned a new book titled Defining Moments, Historic Decisions by Arkansas Governors from McMath through Huckabee. The book looks at pivotal moments in the tenures of Arkansas's 10 post-war governors. Joining us now to discuss the book is Justice Robert Brown of the Arkansas Supreme Court. Thanks for your time, sir. Roby, glad to do this. Well, let's start with your inspiration for this book. What inspired you to write this? And tell me a little bit about how you researched all of it. Well, I think the inspiration came from John F. Kennedy's, President John F. Kennedy's book, Profiles in Courage. And I've always had an immense respect for the Arkansas governors and the position. Uh, to my way of thinking, it's the hardest job in the state. I mean, what the governor has to deal with on a daily basis, prisons, education, uh, Medicaid, health care reform, that sort of thing, it's just a, an impossible job. So I respect the position. But number two, when I read John Kennedy's book, Profiles in Courage, it occurred to me that we could do this on a statewide basis here in Arkansas and talk about our own politicians and how they've acted when they had a particular crisis confront them, uh, either positively or negatively. So that was the mission to take the, the last 10 governors, and they've all been men uh, since World War II, and talk about a particular moment of crisis in their careers and how they dealt with it. Well, because of time constraints and because we don't want to give the whole book away on air, let's focus on three governors that you singled out as having perhaps the most difficult calls on tough issues. Let's begin with Governor Sid McMath. Uh, he was elected in the late 1940s. He was a progressive Southern governor in the age of the Dixiecrats. Kind of what was his defining moment to you? Well, his defining moment was he had come in after World War II. He was a legitimate war hero. Uh, having uh, mustered out of the uh, Marine Corps as a lieutenant colonel and having fought in the Solomon Islands. But he comes back to Hot Springs and runs for prosecuting attorney, wins, and is a reform candidate, uh, cleaning up some of the corruption, dealing with jury trials and elections. And after that, he runs for election uh, as governor in 1948. And this is the time when the Dixiecrats have surfaced. And the Dixiecrats largely were opposed to Harry Truman and Harry Truman's, who was the president at the time, uh, his civil rights package. So Sid McMath had to not only run for the position but take on the Dixiecrats in the sense they wanted him to join their ranks, but he wouldn't do it because he was more of a progressive on race and he was more aligned with Harry Truman and he supported Harry Truman in 1948 and Harry Truman carried the state Strom Thurmond, who was the candidate for the Dixiecrats, did not. Governor Orville Faubus, legendary for his decision to block the integration of Central High School. Long after he left office, he kind of worked to revise his interpretation of events. What's your take? Well, my take was uh, Orville Faubus was a real curiosity. Uh, he really began his political career with Sid McMath. And they were very much alike as far as having a progressive platform, what they wanted to do for the states as far as roads and health care and salaries. But I think Orville Faubus got caught up in, in events that uh, uh, he took advantage of in a sense because he wanted to stay in the role of governor. He wanted to be reelected to a third term. And the way to do that was to take a dramatic position uh, on school desegregation. And what he did, his defining moment, uh, was to call out the, uh, the troops here in Arkansas to block uh, the entrance into Central High School of the Little Rock Nine. And he did that. Uh, it surprised virtually everyone, even some of his closest advisors, and it catapulted him into uh, international uh, infamy, if you will. Your book also covers Governor Winthrop Rockefeller's tribute to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. on the Capitol steps after King's assassination. It's hard for some in younger generations to really fathom how courageous that act was, but you lived through it. Tell me how did that uh, event affect you? Well, this is 1968. Martin Luther King had just been assassinated. Uh, Winthrop Rockefeller wanted to do something in memory and honor of Martin Luther King. He was the only governor throughout the country to hold or participate in a memorial service on the state capitol steps. Now you have to consider the fact that this was damaging and would have been very, uh, uh, he could have forfeited his life in the sense he could have been assassinated himself, but it could have been damaging politically to him. Uh, he was running for a second term in seven months and Martin Luther King, uh, as revered as he is today, was not universally revered in the state of Arkansas in 1968. 
So for Winthrop Rockefeller to stand on the state capitol steps and sing with uh, several black uh, ministers, We Shall Overcome, and join ranks at that memorial service was a very, very courageous act. Well, there are obviously seven other governors profiled in this book. I know this next question will be a bit like asking you to pick your favorite child, but whose who's challenge and the way they dealt with that challenge do you think was the most significant in the state's history? Well, I, I don't want to pick the most significant, but obviously the, the orville Faubus decision was a major decision, and we're still living with that today. Uh, but I think the, the decisions by... Uh, uh, Dale Bumpers, as far as eliminating political corruption in the state, as far as Bill Clinton with his, uh, it was teacher testing and that was very controversial, but it kind of laid the groundwork for adequacy in education. Uh, do we have adequate uh, teachers? And uh, it was very controversial at the time. It only happened for one, uh, one particular term, but it was something that I think really benefited the state in the long run. Um, Jim Guy Tucker, uh, salvaged the Medicaid program in a very perilous time. Uh, Mike Huckabee, I thought, was very courageous in his stand on consolidation of the schools, and this would uh, result in some of the local school districts being merged and consolidated. What is more controversial than that? So all of these men, David Pryor on the Strawberry River, all of these uh, men really took uh, courageous steps in, in their particular terms. He is Arkansas Supreme Court Justice Robert Brown. His new book is titled Defining Moments, Historic Decisions by Arkansas Governors from McMath through Huckabee. It examines critical leadership decisions in Arkansas's last 10 ex-governors. Justice Brown, thank you so much. Thank you, Roby.